Hi, Facebook. State Representative Paul Kurtman coming to you from the Missouri Capitol building. Right now, I'm actually in the Missouri House of Representatives chamber, and we just finished up another week in Jefferson City uh, doing the people's work, uh, discussing many of the issues related to our economy, uh, related to our tax policy, and uh, other things that are important for our state and for our people. Right now, I want to talk about two particular issues. One of them is called occupational licensure. Occupational licensure is when the state requires uh, people to have a license from the state in order to conduct business. Um, sometimes we require licenses, sometimes we require registration in order for people to conduct their business. I'll give you an example of this. Interior designers right now actually have to be registered with the state in order to conduct business in our state. Um, if you are a barber or a cosmetologist, you have to be licensed from our state in order to conduct your business. Now, it's not illegal for you to be uh, an interior designer for free. It's not illegal for you to cut hair for free. It's not illegal for you to do somebody's makeup for free. It's only illegal for you to do those things if you're going to get paid for it. So sometimes people uh, will come to Missouri, uh, to the Missouri government, and they'll say, we need licenses for this type of industry. We need licenses for people to want, that want to do business um, with these activities. And when that happens, usually what's happening is all they're trying to do is prevent their competition from making any money. So they're trying to lock their competition out of the market by getting the government to create all types of new uh, red tape and associated costs and fees. Um, another thing is called regulatory capture, and this operates very much the same way. Sometimes uh, when there is a license even, when there is registration, uh, and sometimes when there's not, people will come to the Capitol building and they'll say, we need more regulations for our industry, for our types of business, for people that make money doing what we do. And at first it sounds kind of noble because it's almost like they're saying we recognize that uh, we have issues that we can't control, we need government oversight. Um, but really what's happening is uh, they're lobbying for more regulations that they can probably afford, but their competition can't. So as a uh, business, the cost of doing business becomes much more costly because of all these new uh, fees associated with the red tape of these regulations. It actually prevents people from entering the market. It actually prevents people from doing these types of business. And so as people are pushed out of the market, it allows the original business who lobbied for all these new regulations to actually capture more of the market share. And that's why it's called regulatory capture. A lot of times people complain about government getting in bed with business, so to speak. And this is exactly the kind of thing that they're talking about. It actually robs people of their economic freedom. And as people lose economic freedom, they lose economic mobility. So the purpose of government is to help keep people free whether it's their civil freedom or their economic freedom. And so certainly we need to make sure people keep their economic freedom because economic prosperity follows the path of least resistance. People need to be free if they want to be prosperous, if they want to have an opportunity to work their way up out of a poor economic environment into a much more prosperous economic environment. And so right now in Missouri, we are working on issues right now. We voted on a bill that would allow African hair braiders to not have to go through hundreds or thousands of hours worth of cosmetology schooling just to braid hair. Listen, they're braiding hair. That's all they're doing. They do not need the government to come in and exercise checks and balances. They do not pose that much of a threat to the public health or safety. Sometimes we do need regulations to do this. Um, if you're a brain surgeon, you cut people's heads open and you mess around with their brain, uh, certainly then there's not a lot of room for error, so the state might have an interest in making sure that you are well qualified to do that before you actually do it. So there are reasonable uh, instances in which regulations or licensing uh, make, might make sense. Uh, but but certainly telling people that they can't braid hair for money, they can already do it for free. So if they can already do it for free, it can't be so dangerous to the public health or safety. Otherwise, we'd tell them not to do it at all. But this is all about money. So that's why uh, the work that we're doing in Jefferson City right now as it relates to um, the regulatory environment is so important to help usher in uh, hopefully a greater wave of economic prosperity for the people of our state.